Hey there! Welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name is Sierra. You may or may not know me. If you don't, you should get to know me by subscribing to my channel and watching all my tutorials. Some really great stuff on there. Today we're going to talk about how to use Cricut stencil vinyl. Well, not Cricut stencil vinyl, but stencil vinyl <laughs> with your Cricut. I use Aura Mask. Oh, 813 is the brand. It's from Oracle and I purchased it from JPI Blanks and they're an online uh, crafting source that I use and love. Um, but this is what it looks like. I'm trying to get the bubble out of it. For some reason, it created an air bubble when I put it on my mat just a few minutes ago. So, it's blue. And it has Aura Mask on the back and it tells you that it's 813, but you can't see that because I cut it off. I've already cut the size that I want for my decals. <laughs> but when you get it, it comes in a big roll like this. It is much thicker than most of your other vinyls. Um, I would compare it to like the, the holographic or the foil vinyl. Um, that's just kind of the thickness of it. And it does have like a, I wouldn't say paper. It, it is a paper backing, that's for sure. But the, it has like a, feels like a wax coating on the back of it. So you can use whatever mat that you want. I use purple mats, but that's because they're not very sticky anymore and I need to get new ones or I need to clean them. <laughs> so there's that. Anyway, so a few things that you're going to need to work with stencil vinyl. Weeding tool or tweezers will work. Um, a mat, obviously, and the mask. Stencil vinyl, whatever you want to call it. I am trying to unroll this because it doesn't want to stick on my mat, even with the tape. Give me just a second. And then you're going to want design space. So I already have my image loaded here. It's just a quick stencil that says you've got this. I'm going to test um, something out with this here in a bit. Um, I'm going to try to glitter a plastic shaker cup. We'll see how far this gets me. But that's not what this video is about. It's about this stuff. So what I really want to use this stuff for is to you to do a porch sign that says welcome one of those big giant six foot ones um, that says welcome and the last time I used stencil vinyl it didn't work very well and that's my bad <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started with cutting this it should be flat enough if not I'll use more tape so you're gonna put it on your mat just like you would any other vinyl. I'm trying to get these air bubbles out. I'm using a scraper tool. There we go. So put it on your mat just like you would any other vinyl. I used tape because, like I said, not very sticky. And because it's rolled and it's thick. It does create kind of like a, a warped. I would highly suggest, unless you're doing a big project like I am and need longer strips, cut this out in 12 by 12 um, sections and lay it flat. That way when you go to do this, you don't have that issue that I'm having where it's curving. <laughs> so um, always try to cut your sheets, make them flat, and they'll work much better. Unless you're doing a bigger project and you think that you'll need it for that. But if you're not, definitely 12 by 12 sheets. All right, so that is done. Gonna go over here. You do not need to mirror your image or anything. Just go over to pick an image. I will tell you that um, when doing these stencils, you kind of want to avoid any teeny tiny details for two reasons. One, this stuff is super thick. Like I said, it would be compared to the holographic vinyl or the foil vinyl. Those little designs are going to pick up with the um, the blade. So when, you're, when the Cricut is cutting, it's going to lift off of that backing and probably mess up your decal. So try to avoid any too, anything too complex with these is what I'm trying to say here. Number two, reason why you don't want any 
detailed designs is because if you have little designs, say you have a flower with a bunch of little things all throughout it, you have to make sure that when you pull up the stencil that you don't pull those up too. And then when you transfer it, you gotta make sure that you transfer all of those as well. It's kind of like putting decals on, small decals on cups. It, it, it can be very tedious. So just be wary of what decal you're trying to make as a stencil. <laughs> Anyways, very simple, very straightforward. You've got this. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to make it. Top right hand corner here. And I've got this done. It's along the three. It's gonna cut off a little bit. So I'm going to drop this down to like 2.6. Height is fine. Make it. Oh yeah, that's much better. Continue. This was a scrap piece of vinyl, so I don't want to change it. I don't want to open a whole new roll and blah, blah, blah. All that good stuff. All right, so in design space, you're gonna go to browse all materials. You're gonna go up to search. You're gonna go type in stencil there. From here, you are going to select stencil film. not stencil vinyl for aura mask you will select stencil film okay you can select stencil vinyl but you have to pass it through twice so as it goes through the first time it's not going to pull everything up the way or it's not going to cut everything the way that it should when you go to weed it it's going to be kind of a headache so you'll have to load it the first time let it run through do not unload it and just press the C again when it's done. That's for the stencil vinyl. I use stencil film. See how this goes. Here we go. All right, and as you can see, it's already starting to lift off of my mat because apparently my mat is very much so not sticky. So we're just gonna give it another little bit of love here and uh, load it. Start it and press that go button. All right, so while that is going, I'm gonna to talk to you about my channel and tell you all the good things like subscribing and like and alerts and all those things that you probably already know. <laughs> so I do a ton of these tutorials. The holographic film is one of my, or a holographic vinyl is one of my most popular tutorials. If you haven't seen that yet, go back and watch that and then come back and watch this. That vinyl is such a pain to work with. I'm talking about, let's see if I can grab some real quick. Like this stuff. It is stunning. I love the color that, that they make of this stuff, but it is such a headache to cut and you have to do it twice. And if you don't, watch the video and the tutorials on how to run it through twice without unloading, you're going to end up with double images and it's just not going to work out. So like this video or my channel, subscribe to the, to, to my channel. Words are hard. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell because when you hit that bell, you're alerted when I post something new and then you don't have to go through and say, Hey, did she post something new? Let me go pull her channel up and blah, blah, blah. It just pops right up in your email or on your YouTube app. Pretty easy. It's done. Let's check it out. So before I even touch my Cricut, I'm going to take my weeder tool and I'm going to try to pull up one of the pieces to see if I need to pass it through again. Before I touch any of the buttons. What did I say? Before you touch the buttons. Don't touch the buttons. And it came up very easily, so I'm gonna go ahead and unload. Now, if that didn't um, come up super easy like it did, I would just hit the C button. I would not hit unload. I would not touch anything else but that C button and let it run through again. 
All right, so, and like I mentioned, it did cut off just, just a smidge. I actually living on the edge there. That is like right where it should have been. <laughs> so this, just gonna pull off what I don't need here. And then this stuff, I love it because you don't even have to like use your weeding tool most of the time. If you just give it a little bend, this part doesn't want to come up. You can just do that and it all comes up. See, I might be the only person that uses my hand, but probably not. I mean, in all reality, <laughs> I'm sure all of you crazy crafters have random places that you get vinyl. Drop me a comment. Here's your challenge. Drop a comment of the most random place you have found pieces of vinyl. For me, you're gonna giggle. It's in my ear. <laughs> I was weeding these tiny little bitty letters and one had popped off and I couldn't find it. Cleaning out my ears that morning using a Q-tip like I do every morning. Sure enough, what do you know? There's that S I was missing right in my ear. <laughs> silly, silly crafting world. All right, so just like that, that's weeded. I didn't even use the weeding tool. It's all right. There on the floor. <laughs> so now I have a stencil that I can use and reuse and reuse on whatever I want. So it says you've got the, you got this. You got this. I like it. I think it's cute. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it right here on the shaker cup. And then I'm going to mod podge on top of it. Dishwasher safe mod podge. And then I'm going to shake some glitter over it. And then some more dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And then some more glitter. And then more glitter. And more glitter. It's just going to be so pretty. <laughs> I'll let you know how that turns out. Because I have no idea if it's going to work or not. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a video on that too. Anyways. So that my friends is how you use stencil vinyl with your Cricut. Or that is how you cut stencil vinyl with your Cricut. You can use the Explore, the Joy, or the Maker, whatever machine that you have. You can follow these same steps and it will work beautifully for you. Just remember that if you use the stencil vinyl setting, you have to pass it through twice. If you use the stencil film, one and done. <laughs> All right, until next time, my crazy crafting peeps, I will see you later.